What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking. Might have beat down here. On this Saturday, late morning, maybe noon, I don't even know. Woke up extremely early this morning, probably two or three, I don't even remember. And kind of got my day going early. Then I went and laid down a little later on in the morning and uh, got a little extra sleep that I should have gotten in the first place. So looks like we could get more rain again which it might as well just continuously rain since it's kind of what it does a little bit humid out but it's always humid out to me anymore the older I get the more humid it is <laughs> <clears throat> you got some pretty good clouds so anywho just doing that normal walk that I've done the last couple times I think I kind of like it simple to the point Kind of how I like things. Feet. So, I finished up another pretty good week in the gym. Uh, again, didn't really set any new records break any prs or do anything super amazing but it was still a good week overall and that's kind of what we go for as long as you stay on track and keep going you're doing your job <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed my stuff that I ordered didn't make it in this weekend but I should have it by Tuesday at the latest normally it seems like I order things when there's a holiday for whatever reason or or pre-orders let's say pre-orders sometimes come in on holidays <laughs> we'll say that I didn't order anything it was a, a pre-order that actually came in and uh, so anyway so hopefully uh, we should get a drumming video or two yay hopefully I know you guys are ready <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll find something else to do don't know So, this walk today, <clears throat> you know, started out a pretty good day. You know, even though I woke up extremely early, started out a pretty good day. But, as like with the sky and the clouds, 
I could feel that coming upon me a little bit today. Uh, depression. I could feel that kind of setting in on me. And this walk took a lot for me to get out here to do this. So, you know, you just got to push yourself, guys. And even though your mind is telling you to just sit back down or lay back down, you got to fight it at least as often as you can. You got to try to fight it and uh, get up and get going. Or as I like to say, get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. So, that saying that you hear me say, I came up with that many years ago now. And this was partly of the reason. It was because of depression and anxiety and other excuses out there that we can come up with and laziness and it's just about getting up that means get up off your butt get out that means get out or in my case most of the time anymore just hit the gym get rad that could be anything Get rad. Do something rad. At the time that I came up with this saying, it was me getting out on my bike and going for all my rides and even jumping curbs and bunny hopping and going to the local skate park and just kind of riding the ramps a little. So that was my rad. Getting out and getting rad. And do it to it. Do it to it just means put in the effort. Get it done. Do it to it. So get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. When I say that, a lot of you are probably like, that's kind of weird. Or, you know, why does he say that all the time? Well, in a nutshell, that's kind of its origin. Is when I started fighting depression and making myself get active again. Uh, that's what that was about. And me breathing hard like this is ridiculous. Ain't no reason. In other words, I'm not doing enough of getting up, getting out, getting red, and doing it to it. <laughs> I do in the gym, but that's about it. And speaking of the gym, I think I better touch on a subject. If you keep up with my channel, and I'm sure you do, you know I have some injuries from my back, to my neck, to my shoulders, to my hips, pelvic area, all that good stuff. So, I think, unfortunately, squats are not helping my already bad pelvic and hips area. And uh, I want to make a disclaimer here. Squats, deadlifts, all these movements are perfectly good and healthy for you. It's those of us that already have underlying conditions that it can be tricky with. And that's the same thing. You know, I have to think about that. 
with my bench pressing or my shoulder pressing because of my shoulders. I have to think about that with my back when I do deadlifts and squats. But I think the squats might be aggravating the my right side, my right hip, pelvic, lower back, kind of side over there uh, as of lately. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've known from the day one that, you know, some of these things are limited time only to some degree. I'm not saying I couldn't squat 135 and be okay. Who's going to do that? But, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to stop doing squats because I've worked too hard to get there. But, just something I kind of wanted to touch on the subject there a little bit that, you know, you see people, random people comment, oh, don't do that exercise. That'll kill you. That'll hurt you. You'll be crippled in no time. Blah, blah, blah. Well, no. Well, if you don't do the exercise correct, yeah, it can happen. But if you're doing everything's pretty correct, you're pretty safe. As long as your body can take it. So, I am having a little bit of more aggravation with that part of my back the right side and then kind of in the right butt cheek and kind of that hip and, and my pelvic area and and all that i am having a little bit more of discomfort here lately and i feel it mostly when i'm sleeping when i'm laying down when i lay down i'm just i'm uncomfortable anyway very uncomfortable. Get off me, B. Got time for you. So, I hurt all the time. And before I started working out again. That's just the way it is. Uh, I hurt all the time. I go to bed with my back out. I wake up with my back out. Every day. Every day, I'm walking right now with my back out. Just the way it is. So, I'm going to do what I can with my squats and keep going as long as I feel I can. And Mike, how'd you hurt your hips? Are you that old? No, it's not from age. I had a wipeout on my bicycle one day. And, uh, I was coming down a hill up in town. And it just rained, so the, the roads were a little bit moist. And, uh, I went to turn onto another road, and I was coming down a hill, and I turned like that. And I slid. And slammed like extremely hard on my right hand side. Boom. And uh, and from that point on for a good year. If not a year and a month. <laughs> but a good year. My right hip, pelvic area. Whatever it is. If you turn your leg. You know. Do your leg like so. Uh, any of that slight adjustment in my leg would pretty much send me to the floor it was like a knife just wham just slamming into my hip area so sorry i got sweat and everything driving me crazy but anyway uh a lot of pain uh, very bad i mean if i even twitched my leg a little bit i was like <gasps> You know, send you to the floor kind of stuff. So, 
that's what's wrong with my right hip. That's what happened. Then my left one is a stupid freak accident. I wanted to stretch one day, so I got up on my kitchen counter and I just put my left leg up on my right leg, you know, kind of crossed it up there and pushed down on my knee and thought, well, I'm going to open up my hips and <laughs> I'm going to do something healthy and do a little stretch. Well, instantly I had the same thing happen over there. Boom. Now, luckily, that pain only lasted for like a month or so, a couple months, I don't remember. So, that's what happened to my left one. Two very different accidents, but same kind of pain. So, anywho, I'll kind of do what I can, and uh, we'll see what happens. You know, it's just another hurdle, things we got to deal with. And also, maybe if I go to my chiropractor, he might can help me out a little bit. I might do that while I'm out of school. Maybe go to a couple of sessions. See if he can help relieve a little bit of the pain. So, anyway, guys. I'm just about home. Just about home. So, hope you enjoyed this little walk and talk. Hope I give you a little bit of inspiration to do something yourself. To get out there and <clears throat> take on the day and uh, win another battle. Not with just depression or anxiety and other such things, but just overall, I hope I can help you help encourage you to do things so just about home guys we'll see you later hope you like share subscribe comment all the good stuff to the body beat down and don't forget get up get out get red do it to it see y'all later get up get out get red and do it to it